Because yeah. yeah. empathy is necessary. Yeah. Nuanced approaches will not only help redesign but also customize our everyday orthodontics. We request our Honorary Secretary IOS, Dr. Sanjay Rao, to adorn the jewels of the IOS office to President IOS Dr. Jay Shrazar.
dear uh, friend of Indian Orthodontic Society who is not an orthodontist uh, but supports us with his expertise, Mr. Raj Gopalan and his team. And I can see the uh, past presidents, past vice presidents, deans uh, and other faculty members, my dear colleagues, friends and students. A very good evening to all of you. It gives me a great pleasure in being the part of a very wonderfully organized program by the uh, organizing team of uh, the third Invisible Orthodontic Symposium uh, with support of the Sri Balaji Institute and uh, Bharat University. And I also would like to thank the team from Savita for conducting the uh, previous day's course. So these two in institutes coming together, the Madras Orthodontic Study Group coming together and doing this particular Invisible Orthodontic Conference is a great achievement. Uh, orthodontics is the faculty which is continuously changing and it has been always on the forefront to accept the change. We have seen Balaji, 
Nellu College and Hospital. You have been doing a phenomenal job. We will always support you. Uh, I would like to acknowledge Dr. Deepan sir who is also present here. Uh, Arif sir, Dr. Jai Krishna and everybody. And thanks for coming and have a great evening. Thank you. Dental college is your job. He is our secretary. Oh, no, I know. So, dental, all the dental colleges, ortho departments, even the study groups. We have orthodontic study groups, almost 45 orthodontic study groups all over the country. So, these are also functional units. And those individuals can participate as orthodontists in this. So, we are expecting that they at least do a diagnosis of around 300 to 400 students as well as college students on that particular school students as well as the college students. We want to know the percentage of diseases. This, this is in country.
country. So consider, even if there are 300 units working on that particular day and they do a diagnosis of around 400 people, we will have a huge data of almost, almost a lakh, more than that but almost a lakh. It will serve two purposes. Number one, it will give us a data cluster sample of what is the type of mal-aligned teeth or misaligned teeth in our society in which we which we can put it, put it up to the government and inform them that this is a disease and it should be recognized as a disease. So that the people like the orthodontists who treat them, okay, will be, they are, we are the specialists who treat these malalignments so that this malalignment when considered as a disease will get uh, you know, reimbursement or insurance. This insurance is available Prime Minister uh, insurance currently is not, 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 not for this uh, not for, it is considered cosmetic this is considered as a cosmetic correction there's an interview, just don't use the mic. So currently what is done, unfortunately, correction of malocclusion is put up as cosmetic only. But it is not cosmetic. All it alignment is, is zigzag. Zigzag, oh, improper bite, oh. improper face. So unfortunately, this goes only in cosmetic. But there are a lot of issues, health related issues with this malaligned thing. Then we do need to name it as no, no. Smile India. No, no, no. It's not what a program. Yes, it's a good suggestion. We will definitely think Smile about. India. Because if the teeth is zigzag, we cannot chew well. If yes. we can't chew well, we can't digest well. So the growth of the body will not happen. So it is it is not a cosmetic problem. It is a health so problem. So in government school students and other students, in some programs for conducting some... We are conducting a diagnostic drive. And another... So we will have a data. At the same time, we want to utilize this particular opportunity to publicize our branch as a speciality. See, you all know who is a cardiologist, you all know who is a dermatologist, you know who is a gynecologist. Similarly, we want people to know who is an orthodontist. Orthodontist is a person who is a specialist, who has done three years of special training after being a dentist, who is trained to correct this improper alignment of the teeth, bite related problem, face related problem. People should know, so that when they know that there is a problem, they will come directly to us. Because you know that whenever there is a chest with a treatment, yes, the teacher with a specialist, they will get better. Yes. Now you know that if there is a chest pain, people don't go to MB based doctor. They don't go to dentist. They know yes. absolutely, exactly, exactly. Yes. same yes. thing we want. So they don't go to MB medicine also because they know there is someone called as DM cardiology who is a specialist. Yes. So similarly, our Indian Orthodontic Society is taking efforts to popularize orthodontist and his speciality in lay people so they can relate to that and they will come to specialist for the treatment and they will the layman will have good quality treatment if they get treatment done from specialists. So this